Hello, today is Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Um, I am, it'll be three weeks post on Thursday. So in two days, it'll be three weeks post. So it's like day 19. And, um, it is six something in the morning. I've been up since like four. Um, I just wanted to kind of come and, uh, capture where I'm at right now because I know that by the time I actually probably put this stuff up, I'll be strong and it'll feel like everything was always all right. Um, right now, I mean, I'm not physically in really any pain. I mean, I can feel that I have, you know, a leg there. It may ache a little bit sometimes, but it's nothing like, it's not bad. I am mentally exhausted. I don't know if that's from, because I just did all this. Like, when I fell, well, when I tore my ACL in December, I went through you know rehabbing myself and laying laying down for a week or whatever to figuring out that I could use this chair to get around to figuring out um you know how to get up to, to go into the doctor getting those crutches learning that I could get up the stairs with the crutches climb scooting up the stairs with my, on my butt you know using the cycle bike but now it's going a little bit slower because I'm trying to follow uh physical therapies um way that they want to do it and that's just moving a little slow for me um i don't know if i could even go faster if i wanted to like i can't even lift my leg and it makes me feel like maybe i made the wrong decision i'm not sure i know that my leg was unstable but I had rehabbed myself to be able to walk. I had full range of motion. I was, you know, able to cycle. But, like, I couldn't really, like, dance like I wanted to. I wouldn't be able to run on that leg. I mean, maybe eventually. I don't know. But, like, what's done is done. I already had the surgery. But, anywho, I'm just frustrated. I don't know where I thought I would be at this point. Like, People typically are on crutches for at least a month. So it's not like at less than three weeks, I'm supposed to be like back to life as usual. But it's just, I had the mental strength to do this once. And I just have to like build that back up. For this uh, second leg, <laughs> no pun intended, no, second leg of the race, of, of this journey, because um, I, I, the whole reason for me having surgery is because I wanted to be able to fully move. I did not want any limitations on what I could do, and so I have to continue to rehab, like, Yesterday, I really like did my re my physical therapy stuff, and I typically do it twice a day. Whatever I'm supposed to do, I didn't yesterday. I went for my first walk though yesterday outside. Um, other than that, yeah, and then I tried to do it. I couldn't lift my. I hate the leg lifts. Like everything else, I can deal with, but the leg lifts are irritating. So, what I probably need to do is uh do some meditation do some writing um some left-handed writing as well because this is how i prep myself for surgery i was doing a lot of uh non-dominant handwriting like which is kind of like talking to your inner child about things like why what what's making this so mentally unmanageable for me what skills do i need to unlock in order to be able to go through this and go through it 
<clears throat> not necessarily putting it on myself that it has to be I have to go through it gracefully I don't but um how can I go through this <clears throat> I would like to enjoy the process I would like to um, be okay with where I'm at be okay with the slow and steady be okay with that and so what what do I need to get me <sighs> give me through it um, in a way that I can deal with there's going to be sad times that's life but yeah and I have to feel that something happened to me so I, I do have to feel that as much as I don't want to, um, I'd rather be happy and be like, I'm strong and I can do this. And both are true. I'm saying that I have to go through it. And I am strong and I can do it. And I am grateful for the journey and what, what it's come to teach me. All of those can be true at the same time. And they are true. But yeah, I guess I just need to get that out. Um, I have physical therapy today. Hopefully she give me some more stuff. Kind of made me mad too. She didn't put my new exercises on there last time. So that felt like a wasted trip, even though I did them. But some of them I couldn't do at home. But, and I would have liked for her to like, um, tell me more. But I will figure that out today. Yep. Maybe I need a routine. That's probably what I need to think about also routine because I had a routine you know when I was rehabbing before before um I had surgery so I guess prehabbing I had routine of what I was gonna do you know as far as my workout and stuff like that and after that like the writing the meditating I had all that I had literally I don't think I've written since I had surgery so all of that um spiritual and mental um maintenance that i typically do you know it's it's definitely just like taking a shower or brushing your teeth it doesn't like last you have to consistently do those things in order for um to stay uh spiritually fit mentally fit just like physically you have to continue to work on those things so uh if anybody is watching this and they are going through this just know that yeah there's going to be uh tough times none of them are tougher than you and you can get through them whether you choose to cry through them or laugh through them or whatever, whatever comes up, it's okay. Bye. So, guess what? It is now 7 a.m. I found something to do. I am halfway through my uh, second video on how to upload videos to YouTube. Because I need to get these videos up. Uh, I think that will help me to start to have a routine um of just doing like a weekly weekly videos where i can set goals and say what i'm going to be working on for the week uh that's going to help me that'll hopefully help other people in the future who are going through this and i can have people join me like you know so i can you know feel like i'm not alone which i don't really feel alone or i don't really care about being alone but one lesson of course this 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 is definitely um, one of the lessons of this has been humility. I'm going to try to not move these cameras so much, but one of the, but another one is vulnerability. And I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I have a hard time with being vulnerable and with letting people in and letting people know what's going on with me. I typically will, once I've gone through something, I'll go ahead and share it after I've gone through it. And I just want to be able to be a little bit more vulnerable. I mean, and trust. It's also a lack of trust that I have for people that they will um, 
hold the things that are going on with me in um, the way that I would want them to with respect and care like not with the you know jokes and stuff like that which people are going to do what they want to do anyway I don't like it you know um, brought to my attention it, it irritates me and I will quickly you know cuss folk out but I'm going to not people can be trusted and um are not and you can handle either one if they aren't if people aren't trustworthy you know i can survive both so it's okay i need to so it's a lesson in vulnerability and i'm yeah ready to get started on the next part of it which is i feel like some of it is sharing and then i mean would the story be as impactful if i'm trying to tell it like all at once like once i'm already you know healed and walking and it's like a year from now and i'm just trying to throw all this stuff out i don't know look at that little single tear on oh, my boo boo no all right bye okay so okay i'm up now no <laughs> so that is just an example of how quickly your day can turn around not saying i mean it's eight o'clock something it's like eight thirty now and um i woke up feeling pretty defeated and now i am um i did my uh physical therapy for this morning i have a physical therapy appointment this afternoon but i did the workout that i have for the morning so because since i do tw twice a day um action i pressed record not even talking to anybody really i was at that at this point talking to myself because i haven't uploaded this and you know i could decide not to so who knows but um just that action of doing that of getting it on video getting it writing it down um it changed i just need to get it out and it changed probably the projection of my day um and my attitude towards this gave me that boost that i needed to keep going um so not saying that everybody is going to be able to do that D different people have different things and different levels of um not even to put it on a level thing or a hierarchy i don't want to do that because everybody is where they're at and everybody is who they are but all we can do is try we can take that first action and it's not necessarily a, even a fake it to make it it's a more of just taking action and seeing if that helps you taking the medicine of doing an action and seeing if that relieves the symptoms that's what i did all right what day is it who knows day 19 i get almost to three weeks can't walk but i got these bad boys you know i got my chair i get around honey I get around town. Bye. Have a good day.